everybody. Welcome to my channel. It's Indigo here here in your weekly. This is for September the 18th through the 25th. I will start out with my Sagittarius. Um, pick a side. One side is your energy. The other side is the other person's. All right. Here we go. Bottom of the deck, the shared energy between the two of you, the queen of wands in reverse and the sun in reverse. All right. So one of you is ending the cycle of somebody uh, that you feel there's no life within the relationship left. They've taken everything out of you or um, you just see no growing, no potential, no tomorrow with this person. Um, yeah, the, the emotions, the feelings, they are, they're no longer there for this side. Now this is an external energy, um, but it's very strong. So somebody you're dealing with could be ending a relationship or you are ending a relationship, but it's not, um, it's not with like a lover. It's with, a could be, you know, separating from family or friends. The other side is judgment. So the other side, uh, this this was a situation where the two of you um, came together for a brief time only to separate. When this person left, they left because they had karmic issues they had to deal with. They had, <clears throat> excuse me, they had uh, karmic lessons and karmic debts that were not completed yet, but they came together with this side because uh, in order to kick them in gear to get these lessons and debts taken care of. When this person left, this person felt betrayed. They felt like you showed up here just to what? Uh, destroy my heart. So, uh, yeah. And that would explain the shared energy. So, you know, obviously this is something that had to happen. This is something that the universe... Um, had to step in and take care of. It could have turned you guys upside down um, with the Queen of Wands here. It really flipped your world upside down. I do see Sagittarius, uh, the majority of you being on this side, you were the one that was heartbroken. Um, but the sun is illuminating the path of the person who had to go take care of their karmic issues. Wow, the world. So, um, yeah, by letting go of this hurt, by letting go of this betrayal, by letting go of the pain and suffering that, that the person you're in separation with cause, you are closing out a cycle. You have learned patience. You have learned unconditional love. Um, and you two will be uh, traveling to see each other very soon. Oh, wow. The other side, the fool. So... Uh, they're ready. They're ready to take this leap of faith with you. They are ready for this relationship to come back in um, together and to fruition. I, it's like all major arcana here. Um, big, big movement in your guys' relationship, Sagis, this next week. And one more card. Or two more. <clears throat> yeah, you had... You spent a lot of nights crying, um, depressed anxious about this connection, why this connection ended, why, um, you kept asking why, why, why is this person holding back from me? Why are they not sharing their emotions? Why are they, uh, restricting me with time? Um, why are they not wanting to invest in a future together? But you are coming out of that, um, that breakdown phase where you just, you literally broke down, um, a lot of tears were shed, but you're no longer feeling the stress because you're getting over it. You're getting over it and you are ending that cycle in your life. Um, this is a major completion point for you guys. And you could be holding back from this other person because they did hurt you. They did um, betray you. They did have somebody else. They did leave you and cut you off um, from their emotions, from their life. And it caused you all this pain, but 
you're no longer there. You are in a healing. Um, you are you are ending this cycle. All right, the other side. There we go. Yeah, this is your soulmate. Um, in Vedic, the Seven of Cups is your uh, your soulmate, who you're meant to be with. They are realizing that uh, there is no other option besides you. Uh, there is no one else that they want to spend their life with. Other people were um, putting in their two cents, trying to convince them uh, what to do and what not to do. But they are coming out of that confusion. They're coming out of that cloud because their path is being light enlightened. They're it's being they're being shown the way back to you, Sagittarius. I'll get one more to equal out the energy. Yep. They're walking away from somebody that they're currently with uh, in order to come towards you. Uh yeah, most definitely. They are no longer confused. They have lots of options as well um, on where to go, what to do, and who to be with. But there's no option in their mind. There's one clear picture and person who they want to be with. Um, this is also coming out of retrograde season. So now that uh, the planets are going direct, their confusion is coming to an end. And they are going to uh, be guided back to you, Sagittarius. Okay, so I will pull one card from the Hidden Realms, or not the Hidden Realms. Well, I will do that too, but I'll get one Romance Angel card for you guys for the week, and actually I will get two. Okay, the two that just flew out are Soulmate and Let Go of Control Issues. So this is going to happen in its own time. Um, you just have to let it unfold naturally. You can't rush this, uh, which is very hard for Sagittarius to do. Uh, we want it, we want it now, and we don't want to have to wait, but it's time just to let go. And this person is coming back to you for sure, because the angels are working um, behind the scenes. And like I said, this is your soulmate. So they will return to you, especially when judgment is the first card out. Um, as soon as you end this cycle, this person is coming right back to you. And this cycle could be completed for a lot of you. Um, you're just waiting on them to come back into your path. Your advice this week, oops, get one advice card for Sagittarius or two. All right. You guys got the ice queen and the spiritual dancer. So, um, <clears throat> with the ice queen, it's just telling you that yeah, yeah, now is the time to just to be still. It's um yeah, it's saying not to take action right now. It's a Yeah, it's a perfect time to to take a look at how far you've actually come, how far this path, this journey has brought you. Look where you were a year ago and and see how far you've honestly came. Um, it's a perfect time to ask yourself for clarification, for um, just so you know, for clarification from your angels, just so you know if your goals are still the same, because the goals you set last year compared to where you're at now, they've already, a lot of them have already been reached. So it's time to ask for re-clarification. Is this where I'm supposed to be? Is this what I want? Set new goals and just take it, take this time to be still. And the universe is going to take care of this situation. Um, because not all your plans can be accomplished right now. There's other things going on and you just have to be patient. Your second card is the spiritual dancer. Um, yeah, with this card. Sorry, I thought I had to sneeze. Um, with the spiritual dancer, it's just saying that, you know, you're on two different paths. You're on two different journeys. 
you may feel like you're going in circles. Like, am I ever going to get off this merry-go-round? But it's all in how you look at uh, everything around you. It's all about your perception. Because even though you guys are on separate paths of healing and learning, uh, the destination is the same. So you guys are both going to end up at the same places. So take the time to, to enjoy the beauty of your life, to enjoy everything around you. And don't forget to dance because the music's playing. You just have to stop and pay attention and look and listen and really enjoy what is going on around you because you're sometimes you're worried so much about where they're at, what they're doing, how close you guys are to union reunion that you forget to enjoy your life. So you guys are both on separate paths of healing and of learning, but you guys are coming together. So it's just time to be patient, to let go, go of control issues and let the universe do their work because they are coming back to you within the week for this group of you that I just read for. So, all right, Saggies, I hope you enjoyed your reading and I will see you next time. Love and light. God bless.